San Miguel Electric Cooperative is an efficient, state-of-the-art, computer-controlled power generating plant. The electricity produced by this plant is fed into a grid system which increases the capacity of the cooperative 60% and by itself can satisfy the needs of approximately 40,000 homes. The power plant operates continuously, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. To make this happen, the planners at San Miguel needed a reliable material handling system to transport lignite through processing to the powerhouse. The Jervis B. Webb Company, a leader in conveyor engineering, manufacture and installation, was chosen to do the job. Two separate material handling systems have been installed on this site. One system transports lignite from a large truck hopper to the boiler supply bins at a rate of 1,400 tons per hour. The other handles the limestone used in flue gas scrubbers for the removal of sulfur dioxide. The decision to build this plant in southeastern Texas was based on the plentiful supply of lignite in this area. The mine mouth plant concept minimizes the cost of transporting the lignite and increases its economic value. The abundant deposits in this area should supply the plant for at least the next 50 years. About a mile from the plant, large drag lines remove the soil. The exposed lignite is removed from the ground and loaded into truck haulers, which transport their loads the short distance to the plant. Here it is dumped into one of two 122-ton hoppers, where Webb's bulk handling system takes over transporting the material to its final destination. The lignite travels this network of belt conveyors. Two miles of belting, 15 drive motors ranging from 20 horsepower to 600 horsepower, and 1,724 Webb Norfolk idlers transport lignite throughout the system. The belts move at high speeds, delivering the lignite at a maximum rate of 1,400 tons per hour. Discharge from one conveyor to the next is accomplished automatically through chutes and belt feeders. The two storage silos are 200 feet high and 70 feet in diameter. Each hold 14,000 tons of lignite, 28,000 tons in all, sufficient for a normal weekend supply. The conveyor feeding the silos is reversible. When the silos are full, Excess lignite will be diverted at the breaker house to a stack-out conveyor and discharged to an outdoor storage pile. Mining and transportation operations continue uninterrupted. Rotary plows are located under the storage silos to maintain a smooth, controlled discharge of lignite to the next conveyor. Lignite is broken into smaller pieces by this revolving drum. Large rocks and other debris are separated from the lignite in this process. The rotary breaker is 14 feet in diameter and completely enclosed so that no dust or material escapes. Supply bins store and automatically discharge lignite to the plant's pulverizers. Here it is crushed and processed until it achieves the consistency of talcum powder and is then injected with hot air into the boiler where it is burned to produce power generating steam. Two tripper conveyors deliver lignite to seven boiler supply bins as required. Weight and level sensors in each bin signal the computer and the tripper conveyor automatically moves to the appropriate bin. The quality of our surroundings concerns us all. The people at San Miguel have taken steps in land reclamation and flue gas desulfurization to ensure a clean, safe environment. The overburden which has been removed will be returned with topsoil going on last. It will be seeded with grasses and returned to property owners equal to or better than its original condition. Powdered limestone is injected into the flue gas stream to diffuse the sulfur dioxide produced from burning the lignite. Limestone arrives at the plant site by covered rail car. 
A series of belt conveyors transports the limestone at a rate of 1,000 tons per hour. This A-frame building provides storage for limestone to be used in the system. Covered storage prevents dust from being blown away and keeps the limestone from becoming caked, lumpy, or hardened through exposure to the weather. A rotary plow under the building moves the limestone from storage and feeds a belt conveyor. The action of the plow reclaims the limestone and ensures a smooth, regulated flow of material into the system. Limestone is discharged from the storage facility to a belt conveyor. This conveyor, located inside a tunnel, transports the limestone at a rate of 200 tons per hour. The limestone ball mill pulverizes the limestone to a fine powder. Steel balls inside this revolving drum grind the limestone until it is ready to be stored, awaiting injection into the flue gas stream. Together with the planners of the San Miguel Electric Cooperative plant, the Jervis B. Webb Company has installed features to help maintain a clean environment. Dust control is a major problem that was foreseen by the designers of the plant. To help solve this problem, telescopic chutes discharge coal at a minimal distance from the landing area. Belts are enclosed or routed underground. This bunker seal equipped tripper automatically seals the discharge chutes and bin openings. Rotary breakers are completely enclosed. These built-in features make this a clean system and help to protect the environment. Jervis B. Webb Bulk Systems Division offers extensive experience in the design, fabrication, and installation of bulk handling systems for power generation. Each system is tailored to meet the needs of the individual customer. Utilizing the most advanced technology, the control system is computer tested and synthesized before manufacture and installation begin. Project management teams supervise the delivery and installation of equipment and work with the customer to meet scheduling requirements. Jervis B. Webb Company, with their divisions and affiliates, provide quality material handling equipment and a valuable turnkey responsibility. For single source bulk material handling systems, the Jervis B. Webb Company, the only choice.